So the first thing we want to do is upload our watermelon image. So I'm going to go to upload, upload image. I have my SVG saved on my desktop. I'm just going to simply drag it. Click on upload. Click on the image. Click add to canvas. They will come in as one group. You want to go to your layers panel and click on ungroup. And today I'm just going to be using the Sweet Summer SVG. So I'm going to drag this over here so I can select all of these, group them together because I want to use them later, and then turn off that group by clicking on this eye. And now what we have left is this SVG here. So I know I want to make this about seven inches. So I'm going to go up to width and hit seven and then enter. So the first thing I want to do is ungroup just this SVG here. So I'm going to click ungroup again. That's going to make everything a separate layer. See how everything is in its own layer. I'm going to click on summer, hold down my shift key, select sweet. And I also want the watermelon seeds right here. Now I'm going to click on attach. Now these three pieces are attached together. I want to do the same thing for the red colors. So the red splash marks are here. Hold down the shift and click on this one for the actual watermelon and then click on attach. Now these two we want to go ahead and I'm using Glitter HTV, so I really don't even need this layer because you can't iron glitter on top of glitter, right? So this, we just going to turn off, we're not going to need it. If you're using regular HTV and not glitter, then you would want to use this as your base piece and then layer your other pieces on top. Okay, so this is ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Make It. And since it's an iron-on project, we want to make sure that we click on Mirror. So click on this slider here, and we're going to do this for each piece, each mat. Take it back up to the first color, and then click on Continue. I'm going to click on Glitter Iron-on and I'm going to click on more pressure. Load the fine point tools and I will meet you over at the maker. Okay, I've got my purple mat today because my green one is, is it needs cleaning. So we're gonna go ahead and go with the first color was black. You wanna put the shiny side down on your mat. If your mat is not very sticky, make sure you use your brayer, but this is really super sticky, so we're good to go. Load your mat. And click go. Okay, and then I want to remove the vinyl from my mat. And you just want to pull back and weed. All right, so I want to stop here and I just want to mention I this is my first time using this brand of HTV and I have got to say I love the way it weeds. Very, very happy. I mean that weeded so effortlessly. Usually I have to slow down and be careful 
granted this was a really good simple SVG, but this was super, super easy to weed. And as you know, weeding is huge. So if you can find a, a heat transfer vinyl that is easy on the weed, <laughs> this is great. Love it. Absolutely love it. All right, let me go ahead and proceed with the other colors. I wasn't, I didn't want to proceed until I made sure that this did cut through and it cut perfectly. Again, guys, look how easy this is to weed. Unbelievable. I just, I love this. I could have trimmed a little bit more vinyl, but I've just actually forgot. But look at this. This is effortless weeding. Absolutely love that. All right, our weeding is done. Now let's take it over to the heat press. I'm so excited. Okay, so I've got my t-shirt folded in half here so I can put a center crease to make it easier to line up my trans and pull this out. Okay, so we've got our center marking right there. I'm going to take the biggest part of the transfer design and I'm just going to put it together and then just finger press at the top and at the bottom. I can take that, do a hand print down and I can line this up right here. Well, this is ready to go. I have a Teflon sheet here. If you don't have a Teflon sheet on your heat press, you can use a Teflon sheet like this here. And I'm just gonna do about a five second press. And I'm at 3.30 for Glitter HTV. And the reason why we're doing short presses is because we can't layer glitter HTV on top of each other. So we're just going to do each piece, each layer at a time. I forgot to weed out my little watermelon seeds. Luckily I have my little weeder right here. Sure glad I saw that. So we want to line up our watermelon with our seeds here, which is perfect. It gives us something perfect to line it up with. And then even though now that I'm, now that I'm layering, I'm going to go ahead and use an extra piece of, of that and do another five seconds. So now it's basically done. So I'm going to put this on the whole thing. And I'm going to do a full 30 seconds. There we go. So this is perfect. This is done. It's so cute. Look at that. How awesome is that? So now I'm just going to flip it over. I'm going to put this down since it's still warm. You always want to press your shirts from the back side as well. 
Just a quick little press, about 15 seconds. And we are good. And here we are again. Glitter HTV layers that don't touch each other allows you to use Glitter HTV for your whole design. I love this HTV. Now I'm going to wash it a bunch of times and let you know how much I love it. I have a feeling. It's a good one. Thanks for watching.